Okay. All right. So you are platinum five. All right. And so what are you? All right. Hold on. Give me a sec. <coughs> uh, let me share screen. Uh, sure. Can you see? Hold on. Probably have to full screen it. Yep. Okay. Um, you duo with this guy? Uh, kind of. I have been playing a few games lately. Okay. Uh, so what do you what do you want? Like, what do, what do you what's your? Okay. Um, my main goal would be to get, well, like, obviously get better at the game and uh, climb higher up into the rankings. Okay. And you are eight and twelve in your last ranked. Yes, my okay. ranks have been pretty bad lately. Okay. Uh, let me let me go back a while. One month ago, how often do you play? Uh, yeah, recently I've st uh, I didn't play much because of exams, but uh, now that they're done, I've been mostly playing normals with friends. But uh, what was I your... do want to get okay. What Go was ahead. your other ID before this? Because your name changed. Um, what was it? I think it was this. Type it. Type. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that was it. And before that, I don't really remember. But if you want the original name, it doesn't come up. That's okay. okay. Oh wait, this is never. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Um, let me just look at your normals. It's your normal MMR. Normal MMR is pretty close. It's your real MMR. You're 12 and 8. Although I guess this is a uh, ARM, yep. Yeah, I do play a lot of ARMs. Team ranked. Right. So I try to play mid lane more. Okay. But I usually have at least one, two champions in every other role, even though I can't play jungle for crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 199 CS, 184 CS in the 33 minute game, 300 CS, 40 minute game, 271, 39 minutes, 300 at 46. These are really low CS scores with Victor. Uh, 280 at 38 with a ton of kills, and I guess that's not bad. It's your average CS on him. 231. That's not bad, I guess. Average a 30 minute game. I guess that's okay when you factor in kills and assists. Alright, so. I guess when I'm doing worse in lane, I can't get much farm. I tend to usually get zoned out a lot. Right. Uh, um. The first thing for me is that I see from this, okay? is that you, you seem to have stuck to a champion, that being Victor, but as evident from, like, you, you get more assists with him than you get kills, even though he's supposed to be, like, a huge damage dealer and, you know, like, the, the long-range control utility, you know, whatever. Um, and then you're almost right. dying as often as you get a kill and your assists kind of salvage it and give you a 3-1 to KDA, which is, it's a good KDA, right? But you have a 45% win rate. Um, so I guess if you play two more games and you win them both, it goes to... Uh, what fifty percent? So right now you are what ten and two, tw ten and twelve on Victor, um, which isn't you know terrible. But you're playing a champion that is above your capability right now, um, and it seems like that is the thing with all your champions. Um, and it, there's a cause for concern when your most a very basic champion, Kate, has a uh, thirty-three percent win rate. But it's only nine games, so it's not you know. Uh, so much, but hold on, let me look at everything else. How many champions have you played? In, how many games do you have? 200? You've played 57? I think that includes a uh, ranked team. No, the, well, okay, yeah. Okay, so let's say that in about maybe 250 games, you have 50 champions played. That is a lot, man. 100% um, win rate, 3 and 0. Oriana, 100% win rate, Twisted Fate, 4.2 to 5. Zhao, 100%, 33% Pantheon. Maokai, Kassadin. These are champions that they excel at Foresight. Right? Maokai, Kassadin, Pantheon. 
Um, Twisted Fate, I guess, also does, but I don't understand why it's so polar opposite. I mean, it, it's low games played, um, but when the KDAs are this bad on these champions, it feels like something really did go wrong in that game. Leona, another champion that you have to know the outcome before it happens. Um, so there is some contradictions inside of the the champions and whatever, but... See, I think the reason that and those win rates are just... lower... Yeah. Yeah, but a bunch of it was random, I know. Okay. Uh, but uh, I think why some of these champions uh, have such a low win rate is that uh, it's been a while since I've played them, first mm -hmm. off, and I didn't play much of them. Uh, I also started out the season uh, in silver, so uh, I just barely played? made gold last season. I've just been playing, f it's been about a year. Okay, and so you started out maybe. this season in silver, which, was it like what, silver one? Uh, around silver one, two, I think. Okay, so yeah, factoring, it was high silver. factoring the change in MMR um, that occurred to all the ranks or whatever, the calibra- would you call it a calibration? I don't know, that's the wrong word to use. Um, all the MMR tiers were calibrated um, differently mm -hmm. because of the addition of master tier and because of the addition of... Uh, you know, the issues that people were having with Diamond 5 and whatever. So, um, Silver 1 is probably around Gold 4, Gold 5, also when you factor in that players get better and whatever. So, um, it's around the same skill level. So then, when you ascend to Platinum 5 now, it means that you've had a bigger improvement than what you're giving yourself credit for, but you've been led to believe it's not as big as it is because the, the tier isn't that much different. It's five, you know, five divisions off. Um... <clears throat> But the, the big thing is your champion pool is abysmal um, because what's going to happen is you're going to go into these games. Okay, Nidalee has a high win rate, which, I mean, I guess that's good, but I don't see... Oh, I haven't I played see. Nidalee in ages. You haven't uh, played Nidalee in I ages, played, right. Yeah. Um, I made Nidalee in, in mid-golds when she first came, uh, when she got her jungle changes. Mm -hmm. Like her passive could, whatever, the hunted thing. Could proc on the jungle creeps. Right. Um, two and three with Zeroth. And then when Cinderhold came out, uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Just um, stop playing. Okay, so the one thing that I want you to do is you're going to change this pool. If you're going to play mid, you're going to play mids that cater more to you. Don't play Victor because Victor's awkward as hell. Like, not just in terms of game knowledge, like knowing when to upgrade his hex core and what item to purchase and stuff, but he's also awkward because of the combos with his gravity field and when to place Chaos Storm, when to hold it, when to use Q to gain the movement speed, when to purchase uh, fur enchantment or whatever, you know, on his boots so that you can do more stuff, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, you have a lot of games on LeBlanc as well, not a very high win rate, but it's not the worst win rate, it's not the worst KDAs, it's not absolutely terrible, which leads me to believe that your mechanics are probably around or even... Or they're around or they're slightly above people around you, okay? But then when it gets into the later stages of the game, you probably end up faltering really heavy, okay? Now, again, okay. this is just me saying it without seeing you play. Um, right. Your CS scores aren't the best either. 161 average over 18 games. Kate, I mean, Kate's CS is actually kind of okay. Nine games, 214 average. Victor's CS is actually okay. But when you go into other champions, like you have a Zeroth, <clears throat> five games played, average 150. Um, that's not, th it's not, it's not terrible, but it's not great either, especially because he's mm. an extremely long range control mage, um, that you're having almost a two to one KDA on, which again, don't take it super bad. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to change your, your champion picks. Okay. Change champions that also share lanes because you're all over the place. You have a jungler slash mid laner slash top laner. I guess Nidalee is kind of a flex because she can go three places depending on how you play her. I'm going to think that you were playing her jungle. Um, I was, yeah. Yeah, just because the, the, the death score and whatever <clears throat> in relation to the kill and the assist. Um, Thresh, he's a support champion, but he's way too complex because you're also, you shouldn't be trusting your AD carries at uh, this tier to, also, to, to interact with Thresh properly. Okay, if you were significantly above this tier, if you were like a diamond one player or something, yeah, take Thresh and just go and dumpster people, um, because it, it, you will be able to create opportunities which your opponent cannot mess up on. You know, like you'll be able to create setups that are just too good, and you'll be able to deny too much stuff because you'll always hit the the knock away flays, or you'll always not, you know, hit the knock in flays and whatever. Um, <clears throat> But okay. you're all over the place. You have way too many champions, and this is something that right. I, I recommend a lot. Like you, you take champs that share lanes, so like Morgana, hypothetically, right? She can play mid-top 
and support in very rare instances jungle, but don't do that. Okay? Um, okay. You can play Kale mid top in jungle. You can play um, Orianna. If you want if you want a champion that has some mechanics behind it, but will help you learn better and faster, you pick Mort or not Mort, uh, Orianna, sorry. Um, she was what I was just talking about. Okay. Like okay. Uh, I see that you picked up um, the Ezreal thing here, right? The the Rune Glaive as yeah, no, play if you're stay famous. really far away from that. Just <laughs> forever, just stay stay away. Um, because you don't want to be that person, like because I'm sure, like in Platinum, you would probably laugh at the people in Bronze that are like, "Oh man, you have to ban Shen, have to ban Malphite, have to ban," you know, like these champions. Because at that elo, they think they're so broken, they must be picked or banned. And if they are picked, doesn't matter where they go because they're just so broken. If you pick uh, Rune Glaive Ezreal and you've never played him before, you've had no experience on him. Just because he is broken doesn't mean you can pilot it to where yeah, it'll, it'll 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 be good, right? Um, mm -hmm. So, like, pick three lanes. This is always my, my recommendation. Pick three lanes, split them up, um, whether it's mid-top jungle. If you want to be a mid-laner, then I recommend mid-top jungle. And then on support, you can have uh, some champions that also share mid-lane. You can keep Janna if you if you want. I mean, that's fine. But, like, Morgana, Annie. Um, you can play obnoxious supports that are really difficult to lose the game with, such as Soraka, because um, it takes effort to lose with her. Um, you know, especially when people don't know to focus her and people don't know how to interact against her um, and all that other stuff. So you can definitely do that. Um, okay. In top lane, pick, pick champions that are suitable to uh, long duels, long skirmishes, etc. Um, so I don't know like what you like to pick in top lane. I guess I can relook at your champions. Um, but right now, uh, when I have the top lane, I usually either you can go. Pick Hecarim. Yeah, Hecarim you or can... Vladimir. Those are both great. Even because though Vladimir I'm also goes mid. On Vladimir's... Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can take Vladimir. Um, you can take. Is Heck a good option then? Yeah, Hecarim's good too. Okay. Um. What else do you have? Uh, you have two wins on Lissandra. You did really well on her. You can take her top and mid. You know, don't don't feed into you know she's not getting picked, so she must be a bad. That's not the case at all. Stay away from Rumble. Um, you can play yep, Shivana okay, Jungle. Yeah. Shivana Jungle. Yep, I've, I've, I've actually tried to pick that up. But yeah. Yep. Um, Kale. Okay. That, yeah, that's fine. Stay away from Echo. Stay very far away from Echo. Um, uh, yeah, I, I realize I don't know anything about that. Okay. And in the same I'm sense, also so. stay away from extremely vulnerable laners like Akali. Because the same amount of skill and precision that, like, say, a Zed or a LeBlanc requires is the same amount of discipline and understanding of control that, say, Akali requires. So even though Akali eventually becomes a point-and-click champion, the ways that she becomes that is like just like the North Pole, South Pole. You know what I mean? It's, not, it's still not in the middle. Um, when you want to be in the middle to get better, and then once you start getting better, then yes, you start, you know, like, okay, then you incorporate Victor. You get really good at Orianna, controlling Orianna on the point, then you incorporate Victor, then you incorporate, you know, the next champion. I don't believe okay. that, you know, you, you take the approach. Sometimes it does have success. Sometimes, not all the time. Um, like, um, the thing that comes into mind, I don't know why I'm remembering this. Do you know the game Guitar Hero? I know it. I never played it, but okay. I, yeah, I know. There it. was a tournament called WCG, World Cyber Games. It was like the Olympics of uh, video games. There was this chick that apparently in the USA she was a finalist or something, and uh, she said that when she got to the game, she just went on and played it at the absolute hardest difficulty because if she was going to fail any songs, she wanted it to be at the hardest and that she would force herself to learn. That is the exception, not the rule. You know, like um, <laughs> he's just not that into you. You know what I mean? Like that movie, the exception and the rule. That's the exception. Sometimes it will work. Most of the time, not. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like that college thing that I talked about earlier. You know, like a lot of people will get degrees, but not everyone will go on to win prizes and, you know, find right. stuff. Okay. Um, so I, I disagree there because I know that some people will think about when Faker said that you should play Twisted Fate to play this, play that, play that. I think Faker is speaking to an audience of players that are already at a point where they, like, can choose to go pro. I mean, I may be wrong, you know, I, I don't know the context fully of the interview, but I would think that, yeah, once you start hitting diamond-ish type stuff, then you start incorporating them, you know, because you should be able to play them if you ever want to play the game at a competitive level. You must be able to play them. Um, yeah. 
But right now you're not there yet. You need to build your foundation. You don't want to just install the top part of your house and then your beams are weak and it falls. You know? Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much that. So you play champions similar to that. You do that. You play um, defensive. You should be playing more than you're watching right now because your mechanics need work and your overall own personal game sense or star sense needs work. You're not at a point yet where you need to start watching and invest in time into knowledge-based type stuff before okay. you begin incorporating it. That doesn't mean don't watch stuff. I mean, definitely watch stuff and see stuff someone does and then try to incorporate it yourself. Also, don't get demotivated if you don't play for a month. If I don't play for a month, I'm probably going to play literally three tiers below my skill for like a week. Um, you know, it's so like in the sense that, you know, I go from fucking one thing and then I play like fucking like bronze, you know, like whatever for like a while, you know, because it's yeah, muscle see, memory. It's like it's like uh, running or jogging. Okay, you can't be a regular mm -hmm. jogger, stop for a month, eat at Wendy's every single night, go to In-N-Out Burger a few times, go to McDonald's, Burger King, etc., pack on a few pounds, and then one day just start it up again and assume that you're still going to be able to run the few kilometers without stopping. It's just unrealistic. You need to work yourself back into it. So even though you just started up again, even though it's 8 and 12, I'm like, okay, that's not very good. But then I scroll down and I start seeing like, oh, it's over the course of a month. Literally your last 20 games are over the course of a month. I'm like, oh, okay, that doesn't actually matter. You know, because it's illogical to think that someone's just going to pick up the game again after not playing for a month, even two weeks, and think that they're going to do well. You know, the prob you probably, I was expecting to just see you hyperfeed, which it seems that you did a few games, but this was 22, game, you know, 22 days ago. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Do you have questions? Do you have, like, anything um, prepped? Yeah, I just, I wanted to ask about um, runes and masteries, if what exactly I should be focusing on. Like, uh, lately I've been running a lot of more defensive setups with magic resist and uh, armor or health. Should I be going for those, or should I be running uh, scaling AP, uh, scaling CDR, you should stuff run like that? the standard professional rune and mastery page setups. Don't be trying to min-max and, like, like like Apto, right? Like he'll have two glyphs of one thing, one glyph of another, and then six yeah, glyphs of something else, right? <laughs> That's that uh -huh. has a specific purpose. It has some point in it, whether it's like the ability to last hit a wraith with a laser that otherwise you can't do or something, or you know maybe it's a min max on a cooldown that you need. Like for instance, Kale doesn't actually need forty percent CDR to have her Eon permanently. She needs like thirty seven point eight or something, something like that. It's like thirty seven point eight or it's like thirty eight point something. Um, for Kale to permanently have her on her E. That means that, yeah, you can take the point out of sorcery. Because it's actually, it's, it's overkill. You know what I mean? Um, for that specific mm -hmm. purpose. Unless you want as much CDR as you possibly can, then yes, you put in that point. But don't worry about that yet. Just go to Pro Builds or OpGG, get the basic rune and mastery setups, and use them. You're not going to be losing games at this tier because you didn't have the rune and mastery setups. That happens at the, the much higher you know, tiers where you can start off the game with a disadvantage because you started with the wrong runes and mastery setups. I mean, just ask Piglet and Zhao Wei Zhao. You know, that's, yeah. that's unfortunate. Yeah, so, uh, what I'm asking is, um, should I be running more defensive stuff like Magic Resist or, uh, like, for example, on Victor, just because I played a lot of Victor for uh, recently, mm -hmm. I tend to run Magic Resist on him and uh, get CDR from Morellos or Athenes no. and um, cooldown boots. No. Should I be running scaling CDR instead? No. When I don't don't run defensive type stuff like that unless it has a purpose which goes beyond what you should be focusing on right now. Okay. You know what I mean? That's like saying that you're like in law enforcement and you're going to go out on the force and you're worrying about if your, you know, your bulletproof vest can be more op optimized for flexibility. It's like Batman in uh The Dark Knight or something where he found out a way to have his suit be more flexible and more durable by doing certain nitty-gritty stuff to it. He doesn't need that if he was just going to fight the regular Joe Schmo, but he needed that to fight, like, the Joker or to fight Bane, you know, or something. You don't need okay. that type of stuff right now. It's good to know that it exists, but it should not consume you in trying to find it right now. Okay, so I okay. just run the standard stuff, right? The standard stuff, yes. You work on okay. your foundation. All right. Um, what else? Champion pool. We've gone through that. Um, I think. Well, uh, one of the things that uh, my biggest problem when I have to jungle, for example, is that I'm really, really bad at 
picking a path, like mm -hmm. what jungle camps to go to, so I'm closer to a certain lane. I think that's uh, my main issue when, when I jungle, because I'm super inefficient. Okay, so then you just need to reverse engineer it. Like, play with your own game recorded, whether it's a replay or a VOD, and then rewatch it, if you're specifically on jungle. Um, that can also just be good to do, even if you're not on jungle. You can rewatch stuff that you had questions about. It is one of the most unfortunate scenarios when you play a game and you're really questioning or wondering about something that happened, and you can't go back and look at it. You know, that can be circumvented or, you know, worked around simply just by recording your own gameplay, by locally recording on OBS, or by using a replay program. Okay. And then you just reverse engineer it. You know, what do I gain from going to Gromp here? Does Top need me here? And then you just memorize how it looks, and then you apply it. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> just write this down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll also be inside of this VOD, so you can always just look back at what I was saying in case... You know, either something mm -hmm. was misunderstood or whatever. Yeah, I see. And, then, and yeah. um, okay, as a mid laner, what exactly should my focus be besides farm? Should I look for roams? Should I um, look for skirmishes, contest blues or something? See on my screen? <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, gonna to copy paste this to you on Skype. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, so should, I should just be looking to farm and uh, capitalizing on mistakes. Strengthen okay. your foundation, yes. Okay, if you're elo boosting or something, like you're platinum, you want to elo boost to bronze and to silver, yeah, pick Trendomir top lane, never leave the lane and stuff. Just dive the person endlessly over tower, never leave it, get the nexus by yourself. That's great. You're trying to get better and you're at your own level of play, then counter, don't force so I should look to play more reactively then? Yes. And, uh, okay. Reactive, but within reason. Don't, you know what I mean? Like, don't always be reactive. It's like what I said, uh, I don't know if you were watching the stream earlier. Um, yeah, I was. Okay, so then it's like what I was saying. You know, a faker realizes someone misplayed, he punishes. Punish in itself is an aggressive word, but the way that he punishes is by a response. It wasn't like faker... Um, and that PC Chris and Ken analogy from Super Smash Brothers, where PC Chris just kept going at him as Falco and kept trying to break through, and then Ken just kept using counter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't try to be in a lane as Orianna and trying to just always hit them with your ball and stuff, and then you go oom um, and you don't know what the hell to do. You know? They misstep, mm -hmm. you, would, you punish it. Eventually, you will wither them down, you'll have superior CS, okay? Because objective is king. CS is queen. Kill is, you know, rook. Chess analogies, okay. Yep. <laughs> so, objective, CS, kills later. Okay. Uh, Morgana, Annie, Jenna, Soraka, kill. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Alright, and then for AD carries, play the basic ones as well, but I'm sure that you can assume who I mean off that. You know? Uh, Graves, Lucian... Graves, Lucian, Caitlyn, Jinx. Caitlyn, okay. Like, I've been playing a lot of... Ca I think I play a good, a decent Caitlyn, I usually... I mean, your CS was win. okay. Yeah, and I usually pressure the other AD carry enough, but it seems that when I do play AD carry, every other, t every other lane is screwed and, uh... AD carry is probably the most difficult lane to carry with. Um, yeah, gold I've through noticed. Gold through Diamond. By far, it is probably the hardest lane to carry with Gold through Diamond. Unless you were significantly above that uh, that tier or something. Mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to climb and stuff and improve at the same time, mid-top jungle, 100%. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, I should be looking to play more uh, now uh, with these champions. And uh, okay, I okay. think I got it. All right, yep. man. And also upgrade your trinkets. I didn't say that before, but be, be conscious uh, of that. I think usually in ranked, I do play. Okay. Uh, I do upgrade. Yeah, it, the it trinkets. seems so. It seems so. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just clicked rank. Sorry. All right. That's fine. Okay. All right, man. Good luck. Okay. If you have anything else, ask me on this Skype or the other Skype. It doesn't matter. 
Okay. All right. I will. All right, man. Talk to you later. All right. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye.